All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we're going to get into the final game that we are going to preview on the slate, and that is the Lions and the Rams. And that was a game that was very entertaining last year in the playoffs, one of the best playoff games from last from last year. And... Um, yeah, so this will be the, uh, the Sunday night matchup. And I um I don't know. I don't know. I, I like the Rams in this one. I, I, I think the Rams are gonna pull it off and upset the Lions here. Now I could be wrong. Um, you know, because I mean the Lions are a really good team. But, you know, the the, the Rams could have won that game. No, they only lost that game by a point. Now, there's going to be no more Aaron Donald. We know that. And that's something to keep an eye on throughout the season, how they deal with that. But I, I've said, like, Sean McVay is a good coach, and I feel like they're going to figure it out. Like, they'll be okay. Um, As long as the offense, you know, plays like it did last year, because... You saw when Matthew Stafford was healthy and, you know, the young guys like Kyron Williams and Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup, of course, coming back from injury as well. When they were all clicking, that offense was one of the best offenses in football. And, you know, if Stafford continues to play like that, like the Matthew Stafford that we're accustomed to seeing, you know, the Rams are going to win games. And again, it's funny because, you know, I have the Lions going to the Super Bowl, but I got them losing here. Look, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's not, a, you know, it's not the end of the world. They'll be okay. But I just think in this spot here, I, um, you know, I got the Rams winning. So, um... Right now, so Lions are three and a half point favorites, and it stayed that way. And on CBS, you know, the public, 62% are on the Rams with the spread. So maybe I should take the Lions. And at least on CBS... You know, minus three and a half, the, the, the lines are plus 100. So, it's almost like they, they, they want you to take the Rams with the three and a half, which is interesting. So, maybe I might have to change. No, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm sticking with it. Um, I mean, I hope, you know, for fantasy purposes, Puka Nakua has a big game. Um, I also do have Jake Bates, the UFL kicker that the Lions signed, that was making all those 60 yarders, so I hope he has a big game as well. But yeah, I'm going to say that the, the Rams went out right. And again, you know, if that's what ends up happening, it's not the end of the world for the Lions. It'd just be one game. I mean, it'd be disappointing, but you know, I got to see Stafford get revenge against his former team. But it's, I just find it funny how, you know, we saw Peyton Manning face off against his former team, the Colts. He loses. Stafford last year in the playoffs loses to the Lions. Tom Brady beats the Patriots, of course. When they played it uh, a few years ago now. That was back in, uh, in 2021. So... Yeah, um, I I, th I think Stafford will get them this time. Stafford will get them this time. And I got, and I got the Rams making the playoffs, so, you know, I, I want them to get up to a good start. You know, prove me right. I think a lot, well, I mean, a lot of teams have the uh, the Rams making the playoffs. So, 
yeah, um, no, it should be fun. I mean, look, week one got off to such a great start. Um, you know, and I think this is a great game to end off our uh, our Sunday. I know some people are like, well, we just got this. Couldn't they have chosen anything else? I mean, I guess, but I, don't know, I mean, it's still going to be a good game, right? So, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to this game. This game I'll, I'll be locked in for. I should be home by the time. Um, should be home before this game even starts. Uh, you know, coming back from the, uh, the Giant game. Hopefully the Giants are coming off of a win there. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, you got playmakers all over the place here. I told you about the Rams playmakers, but, you know, Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery for the Lions, and, and I'm in Ross St. Brown and Sam Laporta. This game's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Um, but, yeah, no, let me know what you guys think, though, about that game. Uh, who do you have winning? Uh, again, I, I, I think either way it's going to be a competitive game. But, uh, you know, we'll see who comes out on top but yeah no it should be a fun weekend this is our second of five days of football in a row you know last night with the opener tonight the brazil game tomorrow full slate of college football sunday uh all day nfl and then monday night got jets 49ers which i will preview on monday um but yeah, week one got off to a great start. And let's see what tonight's game brings. And let's see what kind of uh what kind of wackiness we get over the weekend. Um But yeah, it's football's back. I mean I'm just so excited. But the other thing too is I keep saying this, hopefully by Monday this cold that I have is gone you know it's it's been a week and you know you, you hear it in my voice it's like you know it's like man this kid is crying I mean my eyes are, are shining guys are probably thinking I'm doing all this crying it's, well it's because I'm emotional that you know football's back you know it's it's been a it's, it's been a long off season I'm just I'm so emotional over being back and also, I'm emotional because you know, the Yankees have, have been really disappointing me as of late. And they, uh, they're they in Chicago today. They are, they're, they're playing against the Cubs. So, um, and they haven't played in Wrigley since 2017. But, yeah. Uh, tonight's game, though, back to football, Packers-Eagles. You know, going to be locked in for that. I, I really want to see... If Jordan Love can repeat what he did last year. Now, I think he will. But, you know, he's got to go out there and prove it. And then Jalen Hurts, you know, the people are, you know, on him a little bit for his performance towards the end of the year. You know, how is he going to prove the doubters wrong, you know? Um, and the running backs. You know, how's Barkley going to look? How's Jacobs going to look? Should be a uh, should be a fun game. Should be and it's like I said, it's gonna be a fun weekend. Going to uh, Giants Vikings. We'll see what that brings. Really hope the Giants, you know, put on a good show and they'll be wearing those uniforms, which was really the primary reason why I wanted to go to the game, was to see them in those uniforms. I just hope they. They play well. You know, that's that's what I'm hoping for. You know, don't embarrass me. You know, I I I, I, I wanna be uh I wanna be happy. I mean, regardless, I'll be fine. Like if the Giants lose, so be it. It, it is what it is. I've seen a lot of losing from them over the last few years. Well, even longer than that. That you're used to it. But Let's hope that they're on an upward tra trajectory if you're a Giant fan. And this is one of the games that I think they could actually win. 
you know, th- there's, but there's a lot of games on those schedule on the schedule where you're like, eh, probably not going to win that game. So let's see what the Giants do. I, I mean, I, I again, it's going to be fun going with friends, and you know, my parents will be there as well. So it, it should be a good time. You know, tailgating, of course, having a having a cheeseburger at you know ten o'clock in the morning. You know, that's that's tailgating. Um, but yeah, it should be good and, uh, you know, looking forward to it. Uh, and hopefully, you know, my, my team bails me out cause already uh, as GMs of my fantasy teams, I'm not to a good start. I'm already losing by like 50 points in one league cause, um, the person I'm playing against had Lamar, Rasheed Rice and Harrison Butker. So already I'm down like 60 to like 11. Because I had Kelsey, who didn't really have a big game, and I had, uh, and I started the Chiefs defense. So, yeah, already off to already off to a great start. So, but um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the show for today. Um, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. You know, make sure to check out all the other shows as well. Make sure to give all the other shows some love like i always say um enjoy the game tonight should be fun and uh yeah so that is all the time that we have for today um as always i'm your host kenneth grunfelder signing off from the gsmc football podcast brought to you by the gsmc sports network have a good day enjoy the games this weekend enjoy your weekend in general whatever you're doing And I will talk to you guys on Monday. Take care.